Chrissy is in the news again. She recently put together a PR package to promote her food websites, which included cookwares, cookbooks, and other related merchandise, which she then sent out to few celebrity pals. All her pals were apparently not on the list for the box of goodies, so she took to her Instagram stories to address the reception and reactions of and from her people. Um, she says, and I quote, please don't ask me for a box. My marketing budget is not infinite, but my love for you is. Also, I see some of you asking, and you're literally rich. Before I had, before I had to make my own boxes, I'd get boxes all the time and I just donate them or give them away. I didn't even think twice about it. Then I started making my own and it was a ton of work. I put it together. It, it's very curated. It's a labor of love and I would never ever throw away or not thank somebody profusely. End of quote. Uh -huh. Mm. I like that she's talking about this and also from a personal angle of her learning from it as well because um, I think a lot of celebrities are on this table. Um, maybe whatever she packaged is looking really nice and that's why those that didn't get it are actually reaching out to say, okay, I need to get mine, what's up? Um, I, from everything she said, talking about the PR packages is one and secondly is... Um, talking about friends supporting friends businesses basically so um there are times you get this package and you feel like well i'm i'm deserving of it because mm -hmm. i'm an influencer or because i am a celebrity so they just sent it to you and over here i've seen some celebrities not understand it until they also have to promote something mm. off their own and realize that oh my this is not a joke but i've been getting things like this and i just saw it as an entitlement or a privilege yes it's you have grown your network to that level to be be on that list to get that but it's, it's also nice to just put out something to appreciate the efforts of these people because it is marketing it's not that easy but also i mean if you are a rich person or if you are you can afford what your friend is selling and maybe the box doesn't come to you as human as a human being i know you'd feel some type of way is it that i'm not in deserving. your clique, I'm not deserving, or you don't consider me as friend. But maybe sometimes you should just go beyond that thoughts that can seem negative, even and though I don't think it's negative, and just support the business in whatever. I way I, I agree with you hundred percent because a lot of um, celebrities have the self um, sense of entitlement when it comes to stuff like this. That, like you rightly said, like oh, am I not deserving and all that? But sometimes even when you get they send them things, they don't even, even acknowledge it. Even when you get it. What's the now? Somebody sent something to you for you to know what's in the package, how good it is. It doesn't cost you anything to buy for your mother, buy for your father, buy for your friends. Do you understand? You can afford it, but no, once you have yours, oh, I'm good, and you think that's it. You don't even put it on your page to even promote that person's business to even start with. Even if you can't buy, the least you could do is to promote it. But a lot of them will just get it and just probably send you a message, thank you, I got it, and that's Some it. of them don't even acknowledge it yeah, so, at all. I think, I think I like I like how she came out to address this because this is something that has been um, happening. happening and a lot of people don't talk about it but i feel like um when you have a friend doing a business it's only right you see somebody maybe having a movie premiere and yeah or maybe a show or a concert and you look waiting for free tickets no don't wait for free tickets buy because they are you if you call them your friends you're supposed to support them don't say oh because you're friends i should get 10 tickets yeah but on the flip side of that if you are i don't know hmm. Um, I don't think it's a celebrity pro I agree with everything mm. I've said, but I don't think it's a celebrity problem. Mm. I know it's like an everybody, everybody problem yeah. for sure. When you start to go into business and things like that. First time I've ever um, um, got into business, I think the story I can bring out of is that I'm very sensitive about my friends. Like if I see that somebody else is going somewhere when I'm offering that service, it hurts. Like I'm not even going to lie. Or like I'm thinking, oh, I have so Why? many friends. People are going to be able to practice. You just you just said now you're the one breath that you want people to support. Now you're surprised that I'm upset that people are not supporting. I won't be upset. Like, I, I would be surprised. Price, and anyway, for me, it was just a, like a personal thing. But I think with time, you start to realize that that's how life is. Mm. Um, and having that having that understanding and that relationship to be content is the key. So content, if I'm the business owner and people are my friends, close friends that I'm expecting to really have my back mm. are not supporting. And then I think on the flip side, um, when somebody else is doing business and they're offering... Um, 
PR packages to their loved ones and things like that, and it, they don't involve me. I think, uh, to me, on this table, um, I don't think it's about being rich for, for her. I think, um, and I like that she balances out because that rich statement to me is not really working for me. I think people ha have emotions, and when you have a list, because I looked at the list, it was hard, I looked around, and said for people who have that who have that PR package, it wasn't just about being an influencer, it was about being a close friend. So, of course, people are going to be um, touched about that especially if they feel like they have a certain type of relationship with you I'm, and I'm, I'm sorry I have to disagree I think it was you who mentioned that because if I'm making a list of people like when I got engaged I had to make a list of people I needed to announce to before I got um, before I put on, on social media I knew I couldn't tell everyone I had to make a list according to priority so that means that but that doesn't mean that if you didn't get on that list you don't I don't care about you I just don't care about you enough in comparison to the people on that list okay. and that, that, but, that but, but that's, that's basically that's, what that's, it is that's life it's not an, a hard feeling thing mm -hmm. so she has to understand when people react to that so people who reacted that oh if you didn't tell me personally i apologize and just say i had a long list and well that was true doesn't mean that i don't care about the person's feelings or i'm not like friends with you or whatever like i said that's something you have to learn um with time being so what you're with saying other, is with that, that position she, that you she are should in. have understood yes. their reaction and i don't think it's about being rich mm. okay, okay. But then I just want to focus on the other part when it comes to payout packages because maybe because I walk in that space and I know how people act. And when you say it doesn't just happen to um, um, celebrities alone, so it's usually celebrities. If you have a PR package and you send it to your normal friend, they'll post on WhatsApp, they'll post on Instagram, they'll post not on Facebook. Hmm. Except what you're sending to them is not looking good. I mean, when you send somebody a birthday present, they even take it as a big deal. Not talk about when it's not their birthday, it's nothing. You just package something that is amazing and send to them. I think they would want to appreciate it. It's when you have seen yourself as, oh, I deserve it. My position mm. says that you should send me this. That is when you, you are hesitant to even appreciate things like that. Right. I think that's where she's coming from. But for her friends and co, I think they will be all right. They will. They will. They will. We all will.